Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mara, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and I'm back with another makeup look. Um, now this look is something that you can do it up for, like when it comes to like the holidays. We have Thanksgiving coming up in a few weeks. Then we have Christmas, so this can be worn to like a holiday party. This can be worn to like your family festivities or friend festivities as well. Um, but yeah, this is just a cut crease holiday look that I wanted to do and I feel like it's super cute um I know a little extra with the red lip so this is the look that I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today let's get into the video alrighty so I'm going to start out with my LA girl concealer in the shade medium beige I'm just going to be putting that over my eyelids of course to make the colors pop because this is a holiday look what's the point of doing your eyeshadow if it's not going to show I'm actually going to go in with my MAC, I can find it. Where is it? My MAC 224 blending brush and I'm just going to start out with my transition color. So I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Start out blending that as my transition color. Once again, I'm using a MAC 224 blending brush using a very very light hand as I blend it in. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that. Now, I'm going to actually go in with my second color, which is definitely going to deepen it a little bit. Um, this is going to be my MAC 217 brush, and I always use this as like my second blending brush, um, just because I don't want it as blown out. I want it a little bit more focused, so that's what this brush does for me. I'm going to go in with this color right next to it to deepen that crease. So it's time to cut out, uh, carve out my cut crease. So I'm going to spill some of that LA Girl concealer on my hand. This is how I like to do it. And I'm going to take my angled MAC brush. This is the two, ooh, this is the 266 angled brush. I'm going to put that on there and start to carve out that cut crease. Okay, so I'm gonna start blending out some of that product. You don't want to go in while it's still like you know wet because I feel like your shadow is not going to apply right. It's gonna be very patchy. That's what we don't want. So. actually going to use a Morphe palette when my co-workers got this for me um, during like Secret Santa or whatever so this is how the colors look hopefully you can see that I just don't want the glare to be hitting you um, but I'm gonna go in with this shade called talent I feel like that's really pretty so I wet this brush already so you can wet whatever brush that you have to like apply your shadows because you really want them to be saturated like you this is a holiday look if you are wearing a shimmer shadow and it's not like popping, no. You need to wet the brush. So I wet the brush just now and I will continue to wet the brush if it doesn't show up. So I'm going in, like I said, with that shade called Talent. Oh no. We have to wet the brush. Okay, it's a little better. Okay. 
So I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid, like all over. We're gonna go on top with something else, but just for now, you do wanna place it all over your lid. I'm gonna do the same thing, wet it just a little. Look, I messed up my cut crease over here. So I'm about to like fix it, of course, with some concealer. So now that we have this, I'm gonna go on top of the shadow and I wanna create some depth. So I really want a dark brown. Let's see what palette is gonna give me a nice dark brown. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put the Morphe palette away and pick back up the Jaclyn Hill palette. Y'all know, this is like one of my favorite palettes, so. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Let me hold this correctly before I drop it. And I just feel like this is gonna give me that pretty depth. Okay, so what's working is like me picking up the color and dabbing it as far as like, and not trying to slide it like on. I'm gonna focus it on that one area because we're gonna blend these two colors together anyway. The lid color and then this color that I'm putting on. I think that's fine for me. So I'm gonna put on my liner, my lashes, and then come back on camera. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush. This blush has been my favorite. This is the NARS Exhibit A. I definitely spoke about it on my Instagram, so if you're not following me there, that's probably why you don't know. But this blush is bomb on oh, Women of Color. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I love it. So that's it for that. And then now I'm going to go in with the lippy. I'm trying to figure out what lippy do I want to do for this holiday look. <clears throat> because it's a holiday. Do I want like something like pop up pow Or do I want to keep it neutral? I'm going in with Max Diva. I feel like this is like, you know, you want to do it up a little bit because it is a holiday. So I'm going to put this on. This is like a deep red and an OD. I haven't used this in a hot minute. So I definitely think that it complements the transition color that I used. Um, if you want something a little bit more like chill and lax, you could definitely go with like a nude lipstick. And as you know, I love Minty Cosmetics, so you could definitely go and visit the link down below in my description box because Minted is just bomb and they are a black owned company and they make new lipsticks and products just for women of color so get your life if you don't know about Minted Cosmetics but anyways this is the final look I hope that you guys really like this cut crease Thanksgiving holiday look and I will see you in my next video guys bye